All right, this is a uh, short video introduction to my uh, smart home pool. I thought it would be a good idea to uh, automate the pool because there's uh, various steps to, uh, you know, turn it on, heat it, change it from hot tub to pool, etc. So I went out to uh, automate the whole thing. So I'm just going to show you the controls with a brief explanation to each item. All right, so there's the heater, and of course the uh, the various valves and the uh, filter. And here's where the pool controls are, so you can see them all. Um, I'm going to skip the the salt uh, chlorinator thing for now, but I'm just going to show you the parts that I've uh, I've automated. All right, so there was the uh, pool control box. So basically what I did is replace this uh, timer with a Z-Wave uh, relay, which is up here. So that's it there. It's basically a dual throw uh, high current uh, Z-Wave relay. I replaced, been using to control the, uh, the heater off and on with this breaker. Uh, you know, when there's nobody here for six months, the pool still needs to run, but I turn off the, uh, the heater. But now I can do that with this uh, Z-Wave reader relay here. And I control the, um, the, valves, the valve settings here for the hot tub or I mean for the spa or pool with these two uh, Z-Wave relays uh, here. And those two relays that I just showed you, instead of manually having to turn this valve and this valve, it's all controlled with the uh, with the various Z-Wave devices. So I'm just go through a couple processes here that you can do manually by pushing these various uh, Z-Wave smart devices uh, with your phone. But I'm just going to first show you on here. So I can turn on the pool. You'll hear it come on. I think. All right. So now that's the pool on, and the uh, the heater right here, which isn't on. I it's off now. I will push the uh, heater switch. All right, and that should be coming up. Oh, sorry, didn't click. Let's try that again. It's kind of hard to get with your. There. All right, so the heater's come on. It's just booting up. It shows the temperature there. And then for the hot tub, I kind of, in terms of the uh, routines on the controller, I've kind of hooked these two switches together. One turns the valve, and one sets the heater to hot tub heat. So regular heat is for the pool setting is 85, and hot tub heat, heat is uh, 98 or 99. So when I push this, you won't see it with the sun here, but it actually turns on this relay as well down here. I just put a penny over it so people don't need to touch it. And it's turned on the turn the valves and set the heat pump to set to 98 and you can see these valves are turning very slowly hopefully you can see that so it turns both valves to set it to the, uh, the spa setting and now I'll just uh, show you uh, you know these various buttons on my uh, smartphone you can see the hot tub is coming on so that really saves a lot of steps you know before I'd have to go turn on the pool pump set the pool set the heater turn on the heater and set it to the hot tub setting and, uh, and then turn those two valves for the spa setting now I just push a button or it does it automatically and I've also set it to just shut it off after three hours automatically and now I'll, uh, I'll go to the settings on the phone All right, so I just wanted to show you these devices on the phone. All right, so I've got the hot tub here, and that turns the two valves. If you turn that on, this is the hot tub heat. This sets the control panel in the heater to hot tub, which is preset to uh, 98 degrees. And when it's off, it uses the preset of uh, 85 degrees that's what I keep my pool at 
All right, and then down here is the um, the pool. I also have a pool light, but it's very simple. It's just a regular Z-Wave uh, AC switch. But the uh, pool pump is here. This controls right now. The pool is on, so that's the pump for the pool and hot tub. And right now that is on, and that's just controlled with that big uh, dual um, single throw dual um, single throw dual pull uh, relay. Uh, high current value and then this is the um, the pool heater so I can turn that off and on uh, you know automatically or with the phone so what I've done is I've set a routine in here for the hot tub that um, so this is a routine that the first routine is just turns it off after three hours so whenever you turn it on if you forget to turn it off after three hours it's going to shut off the hot tub um, and when you turn on the hot tub I've paired the various switches together so the hot tub comes on it makes sure the pool pump is on the heater is on and it sets it to the uh, to the uh, hot tub uh, temperature and that's what these routines do in here and then I just you know just to double check I have it go off in the morning just in case they for you know the pool shuts down itself there's a separate timer that is part of this routine uh, that you know to shut it down so it's, you're not heating up the pool uh, or the hot tub when it comes on in the morning under its regular timer and then under that's oh, so that's a good point the regular timer is uh, here so you know you want to run your pool uh, you know eight hours a day or so so I just have a schedule here that I run it so the pump is on in the morning and comes on around 8.30, goes off around uh, 6, something like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to cover these, uh, each of these Z-Wave uh, automation devices and how I hooked them up in uh, separate videos. All right, so I just wanted to cover a couple more things before I ended this uh, introduction into my smart home pool automation. Um, so the three devices, three or four devices are, again, this device here controls the pool pump with a dual high current relay. This device here controls the heater through a 24 volt uh, interface. And, I'll, and uh, this device, the two devices in here cover the hot tub valve, uh, the powered valve, and the switching the control panel to set for the hot tub temperature. Now I could have fit all of these devices inside this panel. But, of course, this panel is a steel panel, and then, of course, uh, you know, I would have had to extend the antennas somehow, or it just wouldn't have worked in there, so I just went with separate panels. So, I'm going to cover all of these devices in separate uh, videos in more detail, exactly how I hooked it up for you uh, smart home people who want to see how these uh, devices work. And uh, just one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, so... Something else that was covered in other videos, this device here is, a, this is my water main and I use Econet which is our own device to uh, shut off the water in the case of a leak and I'll just push the button here so you can see it in action and then I also used our old version of the, uh, the same valve robot, I use that for an irrigation system uh, setup so I can kind of have a smart home irrigation system I can control with my phone. So I'll be covering all these devices in more detail in uh, videos in the future. Thanks.